Hey, what is going on everybody? Tom from Tom's Randomness. I am exhausted. It is Sunday. Just got home from church a little while ago. Finished staining the deck uh, so you can see it. Went with redwood color. Really like it. Um, I streamed three times from Thursday till uh, Saturday. Thursday I streamed. I'm sorry. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I streamed on whatnot. So it has been a crazy week. Sold lots and lots of coins. If you guys are interested in coins, cards, collectibles, purses, watches, all kinds of different stuff is available at whatnot, use my link and get $15 off of your first purchase. Now, I am also now eligible to have a store on whatnot, so it's just buy it now. You don't have to get in and bid on stuff. You can just go to my link, which is TM45169, and go into my store. I don't have anything in it right now, but I am going to be putting in there mystery coin grab bags and if there's enough interest in the comment section down below it might encourage me to get back into the gold only kind of gold i would sell on there besides uh bullion would be um you know that pater stuff but only if you guys are really interested because that's a lot of work and i am burning at both ends of the candle so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be interested in that again and i might just put it back together only because whatnot seems like a really really easy to use platform and it eliminates a lot of the headaches they have their own shipping system they have everything there all the tools I need to be successful and keep on top of all of my orders and my live streams and my auctions it's, it's really handy and um, awesome so if you want to you can use that link you'll get $15 off your first purchase from anybody you don't have to use it on, uh, for, for my live streams or my stuff but you can use it for anything you want and then I also get a $5 credit for every person who uses my link so even if you have no interest in um, using the, the app all the time if you use it once uh, to use your $15 credit then you got whatever that $15 item was for free and I got five bucks so I appreciate it so anyway Let's get into this video. We're talking about the 1964. Oh, and before I get into this any further, congratulations, um, Robert and B. Moore. I can't remember your first name, but B. Moore, um, you guys won the St. Jude's fundraiser prizes that I donated, and I'll be getting them shipped out on Monday, hopefully Monday. Um, we raised $326 for St. Jude's, so that is absolutely incredible, and I'm super excited about that. So now, Let's get into the subject matter of today's video. So this is a 1964 Kennedy proof set. And I go through a lot of these um, because I handle a lot of these in buying in bulk and, you know, at my local vendor malls, if I can find them for 22 to 28 bucks, I'll pick them up. Um, because regardless of, of the condition of the coins inside, typically these will sell for 30 to $35. And I try to on, only pick them up if they look like they're not destroyed so that I'm getting a pretty good deal and I'm able to try and make a buck or two off of it. But this one that I picked up from a vendor mall is absolutely incredible. And the main coin that I'm focusing on here is the 1964 Kennedy. The more I look at it, the more I think this thing is a really, really stunning example. And every coin in this proof set actually is, except for maybe the dime. Um, it has just one little mark. And proof coins are handled a little differently than your mint state coins, which is why they um, have to be a higher grade, typically, to have a real big pop in price guide. But let's just talk about the 1964 Philadelphias, because that's where the proofs were issued from. And there was a total of 273,304,004 1964 regular strike Kennedys made that year, minted that year. And there was only 3,950,762 proofs made that year. So when you compare that to other years, um, it's still a pretty high number of proof coins. Um, most Kennedys, talking only about the silver Kennedys, they did not make them in the SMS years. They started making the proofs in 68, so you had just over 3 million in 68, just over, just under 3 million in 69, and under uh, 2.7 million in 70. So of the silver Kennedys, then obviously you have the bicentennial proof sets, which I think they made a bunch of those in silver proof sets, silver clad. Oh, nope, just 4 million. So um, it's the second 
highest number minted of Kruf Silver Kennedys. So it's not extremely valuable in the mid-range grades, but it can pop. So if you get a Proof 69, you're probably looking at 1,500 to two grand. If you get a Proof 70, the PCGS record auction shows something like $9,000. So um, you'd have to look through a ton, a ton of Proof sets to probably hit a Proof 70, but it is possible. So I just wanna encourage you guys to look at your Proof sets, see if you have any insane examples. And also you wanna be on the lookout for the accented hair variety because it is worth quite a bit more um, in the same grade, it is worth $75 more in a Proof 65. So um, you're talking about $100 coin compared to the Mint State 65 is only a 20, or I'm sorry, the Proof Standard Proof 65 is only a $25 coin. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think the one that I have is an accented hair variety. I honestly don't think it is. That's just my luck, but I think it's a super exceptional example and um, like I said, if you can pick up a proof set for $22 to $28, I would encourage it because you just never know what's inside if they're unopened. And recently I sold a Franklin set that I got for 22 bucks, but I opened it up and it was absolutely insane. Rainbow toned and in a sealed mint package, there's only one break in the package and that was between the dime and the Franklin half dollar and there's no air getting into the package but for some reason they just toned up beautifully and um, that that ended up doubling my money and I was just floored by it like I wanted to hold on to it because I think it would have looked incredible in a holder but the person that bought it honestly probably got a great deal I think they got it for 38 bucks almost doubled my money on it just because of the toning now not ev not toning isn't for everyone so if that's not your thing I totally understand um, because, you know, the coins are minted in that, that blast white or that cameo or, um, you know, the satin finish. And that's kind of what the original look is. So some people are really all about the original looking coins and some people love toning. I just like all coins. So um, what is your favorite type of coin? Um, a blast white, a cameo, or a toner? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you are interested in... Um, hitting that link for whatnot. If um, 10 people want to go and sign up under that link, I will actually give something away on here. I haven't given anything away in a couple days because we were working on the St. Jude's thing there, but um, I think I have something that I'll give away. If 10 of you want to go and sign up with that link on whatnot, I'll give away a silver half ounce. So let me know in the comment section down below if you sign up and use that link. And if 10 of you do, we'll make a wheel and uh, I'll give away a half ounce of silver. So with that said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and learning more about the Kennedys. I strongly suggest you go check out these examples on PCGS, those top pops and those accented hair varieties so that you will be able to determine if you have an accented hair variety or not. I will put a PCGS screenshot in right here um, at the end of the video so that you can see um, what they their images on their website of the two but definitely be on the lookout for those accented hair varieties and in your proof sets just be looking for strong examples um gold luck god bless and uh get active in the comment section if you're not already please consider subscribing i just added a half gram of gold to the 2000 subscriber giveaway chest so we we're up in there we're getting there and I'm going to add another half gram of gold next month. And however many months it takes, it could get up to four or five grams of mesh gold in there. Who knows? But I hope not. I hope we get, get 2,000 right away here. Gold luck. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.